Ever wondered how your online data stays secure? Today, we delve into the world of digital certificates, the unseen guardians of your online activities. Imagine for a moment a digital document that serves as a proof of authenticity for a public key used to encrypt online assets. This is what we call a digital certificate. Whether it's email communications, documents, websites, or software applications, digital certificates are the silent warriors that keep them secure. Now, you might be wondering, why are these digital certificates so crucial for online security? Well, the answer lies in their function. These certificates are used to verify the identity of a site, computer or individual acting like a digital ID card. They ensure that the entity you're interacting with online is indeed who they claim to be, creating a secure environment for data sharing over the Internet. But how do we trust these digital certificates? This is where trusted certificate authorities, or CAs, come into play. They issue these digital certificates, which contain identifiable information. It's like having a trusted middleman in an online transaction, ensuring that everything is as it should be. Utilizing the power of cryptography and public key infrastructure, digital certificates establish authenticity and verify identification. They are the silent facilitators of secure internet conversations, data exchanges, and website interactions. From e-commerce and email communication to code signing, digital certificates play an integral role in many facets of our digital lives. They are the invisible shields that protect us from the potential threats that lurk in the vast expanse of the internet. So, in essence, digital certificates are the digital passports that authenticate and validate the credentials of online entities. Now you may wonder, how does a digital certificate work? It's quite fascinating, really. Let's think of a digital certificate as a digital passport. It's a recognized form of identification that helps to establish trust. The process begins with the creation of a pair of keys, one public and one private, through a cryptographic algorithm. This is the cornerstone of what we call Public Key Infrastructure, or PKI. The public key is available to everyone and is used to encrypt data. The private key, as the name suggests, is kept secret by the owner and is used to decrypt the data. These two keys are mathematically linked, meaning data encrypted with one key can only be decrypted by the other. This is the essence of the encryption and decryption process. Now, where does a digital certificate come in? Well. It associates the public key with the identity of the owner, like a passport associates a photo with a person's identity. The digital certificate contains information about the owner and the public key, and it is signed by a trusted certificate authority, or CA. The CA is a third party that verifies the owner's identity and vouches for the authenticity of the public key. When you connect to a secure website, for instance, the website presents its digital certificate to your browser. Your browser checks the certificate, verifies it with the CA, and if everything checks out, it uses the public key in the certificate to encrypt data sent to the website. The website then uses its private key to decrypt the data. This ensures that even if someone intercepts the data, they won't be able to read it without the private key. And since the private key is securely stored and never transmitted, the data remains secure. Thus, through a complex process of encryption and decryption, digital certificates ensure your data is securely transmitted. Not all digital certificates serve the same purpose. There are different types, each with its unique role. The first type we'll discuss is the code signing certificates. These are like digital signatures for software developers. Just as you'd sign a physical document to assert its authenticity, Code signing certificates are used by developers to sign their software applications. This signature assures users that the software they're downloading is genuine, hasn't been tampered with, and comes from a verified source. It's like a seal of approval that boosts user trust and confidence in the software. Next in line are client certificates. These are used in scenarios where user authenticity is of the essence. Imagine you're logging into a secure system, perhaps your bank's online portal. A client certificate will help the bank verify that it's really you trying to gain access, not an imposter. It's a two-way street. While the bank verifies your identity, you can also be assured that you're communicating with a legitimate entity 
and not a fraudulent site. Last but not least, we have the Transport Layer Security or TLS and Secure Sockets Layer or SSL certificates. These might sound a bit technical, but you've likely encountered them while browsing the internet. When you see a little padlock icon in your browser's address bar, it's a sign that the site you're visiting has an SSL or TLS certificate. This certificate assures you that the site is secure and any data you share with it, like credit card details or personal information, is encrypted and safe from prying eyes. So you see, digital certificates are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Their diversity is their strength. From securing your emails to verifying the identity of a website, different types of digital certificates play crucial roles in our digital lives. Digital certificates, like many things in life, are not eternal. They have a fixed lifespan. Just as the most exquisite bottle of wine or the most delightful cheese, digital certificates come with an expiry date. Typically, this lifespan stretches over one to two years. It's a period during which the certificate is valid and can be relied upon to establish secure online connections. Now, you might ask, what happens when a certificate expires? Excellent question! Imagine you're trying to enter a country with an expired passport. Not a pleasant scenario, is it? Similarly, when a digital certificate expires, it can no longer be used to verify the identity of a website or encrypt data. The consequences? Well, users may see security warnings or be unable to connect to the site altogether. But fear not, the digital world doesn't leave you high and dry. As a certificate nears the end of its lifespan, it's time for a renewal. This process is akin to renewing your passport or driver's license. You apply for a new certificate and the certificate authority checks your credentials all over again. Once everything checks out, voila! You're issued a fresh digital certificate, ready to secure your online interactions for another cycle. However, it's crucial not to wait until the 11th hour to renew your certificate. Procrastination may lead to a lapse in the certificate's validity, causing interruptions in service and potential security risks. It's always wise to stay ahead of the game and renew your certificate well before its expiry date. So there you have it. The lifespan of a digital certificate is a cycle of issuance, validation, expiration and renewal. It's a continuous journey to maintain the security and integrity of our online world. Just like a passport renewal, digital certificates too need to be renewed to ensure uninterrupted and secure online communication. So we've covered quite a bit about digital certificates. Let's summarize. Digital certificates are essentially digital documents that verify the identity of a site, computer or individual. They are the unsung heroes in the background ensuring our online communications, data and even websites are secure. These certificates employ cryptography and public key infrastructure to establish authenticity. It's like having a digital passport, a proof of identity that's been issued by a trusted authority. This trust is critical because when we're navigating the vast ocean of the internet, we need to know we can trust the sites we're visiting, the software we're downloading and the people we're communicating with. What's more, these digital certificates don't last forever. They have a lifespan, typically one or two years. This is a crucial safeguard that ensures the certificates remain secure and up to date. It's like renewing your passport, making sure it's current and valid. We've also touched on the different types of digital certificates, code signing certificates, client certificates, and TLS SSL certificates. Each has its own role, from securing websites to validating software applications, and they all come together to form a cohesive, secure digital environment. But why does all this matter? Well, think about the amount of information that's shared online every day. The importance of digital certificates lies in the security they provide. They are the digital guardians that protect our data from potential threats, ensuring that our online transactions are safe and secure. They are the foundation upon which we build our trust in the digital world. So, next time you're shopping online, sending an email or downloading a software application, remember there's a digital certificate working behind the scenes, keeping your data safe. In a world that's increasingly digital, understanding and appreciating the role of digital certificates is fundamental to secure online transactions. Stay safe and be aware of the digital certificates at work.